So Nintendo did confirm recently that content updates are over for Splatoon 3, something we knew was going to happen for quite a while. However, something that is not over is actual update patches. There will be more of those coming and Nintendo has already confirmed this. Now, I want to take a look at exactly what we can expect within the next update patch and when it's most likely to happen. So let's take a look at this. The first confirmation of the next update was in the last patch for the Grand Festival, which confirmed the next update will focus on changes to the balance of battles based on long-term analysis of battle data. So very clearly here, Nintendo is making their intentions clear that they aren't going to be releasing these updates as frequently as they did before. Instead of getting a mid-season balance patch, it'll probably come much later than that this time around, which I kind of expected. After all, if they're going to make any significant changes this late into the lifespan of Splatoon 3, they're probably going to want to assess them as much as they can and make them really impactful. Nintendo did reiterate this once again, confirming that updates for weapon adjustments will be released as needed. So we'll definitely be seeing more of these in the future, just like we did for Splatoon 2, which I think is fantastic and will definitely keep the competitive side of things interesting in the game. But when exactly can we expect to see the next update? Well, we actually have a very good idea already. Now, Nintendo did mention it'll be quite a while before we see the next one, and that is pretty much true. Right now, we do actually have a future piece of content in the game which Nintendo is yet to release. This is the gear for Splatoon 2's Splatoon, which will be added to this year's Splatoon event. Effectively showing us that Nintendo is intending upon adding in all of the missing Splatfest gear from the past events when they do the reruns. Of course, the next event after this will be Frosty Fest in January. But the gear for that is not currently in the game. Therefore, Nintendo will have to release the next update before January 2025. So yes, it could be quite a while before we see it. Now my guess is they'll probably do it sometime in December. I think they'll want to do it before a lot of people get the game over the holiday season and generally, you know, they're buying bundles and stuff like that. It might seem kind of interesting to release the patch around then and get people's attention. So that really wouldn't surprise me. But yes, definitely no later than January 2025. So it could be quite a long wait. Now that of course will introduce that content and I'm imagining within there, Nintendo will add all of the rest of the missing gear. I don't know why they didn't do it in the last one, but the fact they have done it for Splatoon shows they're going to do it for the other two as well. We also do know about another feature that will be added within this next update, as they did confirm that they will be adding offline support for these amiibo features of revisiting the Grand Festival within the next update patch, or at least within a future update, but we can generally assume it'll be the next one. So that is one change that is confirmed. Now, I've seen a lot of people asking about certain things, like will Nintendo allow us to play with the tricolor battles in private battles and perhaps maybe use the recon mode to check them out? And honestly, I'm going to say no, this is probably not going to be a thing. But you never know with Nintendo, this would be a really easy change for them to make. So if they're still willing to do things like adding the offline support for these amiibo and such, it really wouldn't surprise me. The main reason why I say no is I feel like they've had the perfect opportunity to do this already with this last update, and they didn't. So it almost makes me feel like for some reason they don't want to, which is definitely a shame, but we'll just have to wait and see. It's certainly not impossible, especially from a technical point of view. Also, let's just come right out and say it, there aren't going to be any third kits, they are not going to be a thing in Splatoon 3. Yes, I am disappointed like all of you are, I really wish we could have seen them, but it's just not going to happen. When Nintendo says no content updates, I generally believe them. They did the same thing for Animal Crossing New Horizons, and aside from a few tiny items that they most likely forgot to add within the big update, they basically did completely stop. So yeah, don't get your hopes up too high about future updates, but if you're interested in the competitive side of things, the updates in the future will honestly be really interesting to you still, so there is a lot to look forward to in that regard, and of course the new content for the Splatfest reruns and such, so it is actually quite a lot to be positive about despite the situation the game is in. Let me know your thoughts about everything down in the comment section below. If you made it to the end, be sure to comment Splat Gang so I know you did. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe and turn on notifications for more.